Hi, it's Bronwyn from Rap, and today I'm working on a house track using classic house essential samples. They're from Banger Samples and available at rloops.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly build up a basic house beat, something that you can use as a great foundation and then add different elements on the top to make it really interesting. Now, typically, House grooves sit at tempos between 120 and 128 beats per minute. And this track is sitting at a healthy 126 beats per minute. So I've got my grid switched on and I've set it to beats. And I've also chosen a really great house kit on an instrument track. The first thing that I'm going to do is create a two bar loop. So let's just make sure that we get to two bars. And you can see it over here. Yep. In fact, let's open it up. Two bar loop. Great. Now, I'm just going to solo this drum kit, and I'm also going to solo the main riff of the track, so I can build the beat around that riff. Right, let's have a quick listen to that riff. Ah, yeah, that's nice. Right, in house music, the kick drum is usually placed on every beat of the bar, like this. Let's have a look. Okay, let's have a listen. Yeah, we're starting to take shape over here. Something you really need to notice about creating any sort of groove and beat is um, in a lot of your DAWs, you have a very special quantize with swing and the strength of that swing. I'm uh, using swing at 100% and the strength at 100%, it just gives a little bit more of a less robotic feel and a, a less precise feel, which is exactly what you're looking for in dance music and in creating beats that sound a little bit more human and, and uh, a little bit sloppy as opposed to absolutely precise. So your swing helps give that dance element, that dance groove, it, it makes your body want to move. So it's just a little bit of a secret when you're creating any beat, particularly though, house. Right. Now, claps and snares in house music are usually based on the second and the fourth beats of the bar like this. Let's have a look. Yep, nice snare. So beat number two and four. And again, two and four. Let's listen again. Wow, that's starting to sound good. To thicken up the snare, I like to put a clap. So I'm going to add a clap. And again. Right, it's starting to sound really great. Now just the hi-hat, so I'm going to use a nice closed hat. Let's have a listen. Yeah, that's cool. How about this one? And uh, I actually like that one. Right, now hi-hats are usually placed on the and of each beat. So you can see that my grid value is set to 16th here. So when we're looking for the and of the beat, we go 1, E, and. It's going to be on the third block of uh, each of the beats. So we're going to put it in there and there. Another one over there, another one there. And again, for this bar. Right, let's have a listen. That's absolutely fantastic. Right. So now we can start to add other top elements. And this is what will really drive the groove. So let's have a look at a shaker, for example. All right. So we can play around a little bit. I'm going to add in a shaker over there. And uh, let's just play with different placements and, and beats and see what happens. If we don't like it, we can delete it. Let's have a listen now. Okay, that sounds pretty interesting. We can get a little bit more creative. You can have so much fun with all the different elements and um, use the different blocks to, to place these sounds in different places and see what's working and see what kind of drives the groove and uh, just experiment until you're getting something that really is nice and danceable and is working with your main riff. Now, the other thing to consider is your shaker right now for example, is really loud. So if we click on it, we can really turn down. It's at full velocity. We can turn it down. Have a listen to the difference that it makes. Mm -hmm. 
and then in order to make things a little bit more interesting as well, instead of having full velocity on each kick drum, for example, we'll start off with on the main beats of the bar, like on your down beat, uh, bar one beat one, we'll make it nice and full. The next one we make a little bit quieter. The next one we make it a bit louder than that. And uh, we get to beat number four and we can put in another value and uh, then we keep that downbeat again nice and loud and so we're just changing each hit to give it a bit of movement and a little bit of feel it really is going to help the groove um, it might not be perceptible or audible to a lot of people but it's definitely going to complement that groove and uh, your brain will be interpreting that something interesting is happening with that kick drum so let's have a listen to it now <laughs> And you can do exactly the same thing for the other elements, the hats, the snares, and the clap as well. Right, so I hope that you found this video really inspiring. Thank you so much for watching. Go and have some fun, and I'll definitely catch you in the next video. I'm going to play out with a groove that I created using the classic House Essential Samples pack from Banger Samples, available at rloops.com. Here we go.